Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can import and use graphic overlays with the Roadcaster video. So you can use them as logos, lower thirds, and other elements in your show. First up, you'll need a micro SD card, which is where your media will be stored. We recommend using cards with UHS one class or higher, with a write speed of at least 30 megabytes a second. While you can still use cards with lower specs, this may cause issues with playing back videos under certain conditions. Now, if your card isn't using the XFAT file system, be sure to back up all your files as you'll need to format it. Once backed up, insert the card into your Roadcaster video. Now, if you need to format your card, go to Settings, Storage, Micro SD, and Erase. To start, make sure your Roadcaster video is on the same network as your computer or connected via USB 2. You can check out our video on getting connected if you need help here. Open Road Central and select your Roadcaster video from the list on the left-hand side of the screen. Now open up the Scene Builder. On the left-hand side is your Media Library, which shows you all the image, video, and sound files on your microSD. To import files onto your microSD card, simply click Add Media and choose the files you want to add from your computer. Here, you can import your image files to be used as graphic overlays. You can import PNG or JPEG files with resolutions up to 1920 by 1080. But if you'd like your overlay to have a transparent layer, you'll need to use a PNG file. Once they're added to your library, simply click the overlay button over here and drag one of your images onto one of the seven buttons over here. Let's grab this super and put it on A. Let's select the super we've put on A and you can click the size and position option over here to place it exactly where you want it. So as you'll see, we now have X, Y coordinates and a width and height marker. So we can just play with this. Let's place it right there. To save that, we're just gonna click adjust again. Each time you enable an overlay, it'll maintain its size and position. When activating an overlay, instead of switching to it like you would a camera, it'll appear on the top of your program feed until you disable it again. There we go. This is perfect for lower thirds and similar graphics, as it means you can switch between your inputs, scenes, and other video sources without your overlay disappearing. All right, let's head back into Road Central. If you're looking to incorporate a PNG into one of your scenes, you can do this without using the overlay buttons at all. Simply drag the image you want from the media library. I'm gonna take this one over here on one of the empty frames over here. All right, now that we have it on it, we can play with its position or even throw it back behind the other layers by playing with this over here. Let's resize it. It's a little bit too big. I'm gonna place it in the lower right-hand corner. Now that it's part of our scene, it'll show up whenever we switch to it. So. If I go back to camera two, or even camera three, or camera one, and back to camera two, if I head back to that scene, it's all still there. That's why I love it. It's just so easy. If you want to learn more about how to build scenes, just check out the links in the description.